and I'm starting the weekend vlog off in the master bedroom or what will be the master bedroom and I'm just deciding on colours but I'm not sure on those. What do you think? Are they too dark? Hmm. I don't know if I just should go for a grey and a pink but I don't know if I like that pink. I'm going to have to get some more samples. It's Friday the 21st of September and it's quarter to three. I'm just about to go and get Toby but I thought I'd start the vlog off and um, say hello and just show you our master bedroom that we're decorating at the minute. I'm just not sure on the colours so they're just behind me here. You only buy lots of tester pots and you just I just don't know. I had an idea to do pink on the walls like a blush pink and then these are going to be like panels. It's a fake wall because we've got boilers here so we had to do a fake wall. I say we, Lee's dad is so clever he's doing all of this. Um, yeah so I thought pink on the walls, dark blue um, on the panels and then a grey bed but I think we're changing our mind. I think it's going to be too dark. I'm unsure of that pink so what we might do is grey that's just the colour of the plasterboards, but grey on the walls, grey on the panels, and maybe a blue bed, like a fabric blue bed, kind of that colour, but a little bit lighter, and um, like pink bedding, blush bedding. I don't know! Let me know what you think of those colours. Are they too dark? I think they are. Maybe I just need those in lighter shades, but I don't know if I'm bold enough to paint all of this around. These are going to be like Georgian panels. I don't know if I'm brave enough to paint them all dark, but we'll see. I'll keep them, um, I don't know, I'll buy some more samples and test them out. And I've just started a bedroom makeover video, so I thought I would film every week or so just with the progress on um, this room and the ensuite, because the ensuite's over here. I have shown this in vlogs before, um, so I'm going to do a separate like bathroom makeover and ensuite makeover and separate, uh, well two basically, one for the bedroom and one for the ensuite bathroom because they're quite interesting to watch aren't they? I've been looking uh, for some videos myself so if you have seen any like video makeovers on YouTube with these colours I'm kind of going for like the blush pinks, greys and blue like a grey blue please let me know and let me know like what video to watch because I'm really looking for some inspiration I'm having a hard time I'm normally quite good with colours quite decisive but um I just don't but Lee's quite flexible. He was quite happy to have a pink room. Um, so yeah, and if you think of any other colours that would look nice. But I think maybe the grey, pink and blue, but I just don't know in which order, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to go and get Toby from school. We're off to, um, I've got a gig tonight in the Isla Sheppey at Sherlandale Holiday Park. And then tomorrow I'm at Alberta Holiday Park, which is also in Kent. So a couple of gigs in Kent. And we're going to go and stay with my dad. And hopefully, I've been talking to dad. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, I think. Um, you've been talking to dad about doing a charity shop challenge where we go and buy an outfit each. Um, because he never goes into the charity shop. So I think that'd be quite fun he'd be surprised actually because um there's some lovely clothes so we might do that in Wimbledon village um yeah buy an outfit each and then maybe you can see whose outfit is the best that's the plan anyway so yeah we're gonna go for breakfast tomorrow tomorrow morning and then hopefully the charity shops and then my gig on um Saturday evening and Toby's gonna be in the vlog as well because he'll be with me at dad's as Lee is on a stag do I think he's in Croatia I don't know, he's always, they go on so many stag zoos. Um, so that's where he is, I've spoken to him, they've landed, they're all fine, and yeah, they're just gonna have a good weekend. It's Saturday morning and I've just been here. Thank you very much at Wimbledon Tires. A thing flashed up on the dashboard saying, um, get your tire pressure checked. So I did that this morning, I phoned up the guy yesterday and said, can I bring it in? He's like, yep, we're there till half 10. So I went down there um, and everything was fine actually. He just pumped them up a little bit and checked the level and turned the like thing off that was saying, check your tire pressure. And he didn't charge me anything. So it was James at Wimbledon Tires. Thank you very much. I said, oh, should I say a little hello in the vlog? And he said, yes. Um, so if you ever need your tires like sorted out, I'm sure they do other things as well. He's so nice. Um, There's another lady there and we had a little laugh about leaving our windows open. Um, You know, when it rains and snow and everyone does it at some point. I didn't do it, it was Lee. Lee left his window down. <laughs> this is irrelevant, but I'll just quickly tell you. Lee left his window uh, down, driver's seat, for two weeks while we were on holiday. 
and all the rain came in nothing got stolen so which was very lucky all the car but um it just got very wet so we were talking about that but thank you very much to Wimbledon Tyres um James there for just sorting sorting my car out and now I feel all safe so I can carry on driving um so I've just popped up the road to like Wimbledon Broadway because there's a scope I saw it looked really good there were some things in the window so I thought um it's quarter past 10 Saturday morning the 22nd of September so just before I go back to dad's I'm going to quickly pop in there to see if they've got any bargains and then we're off for breakfast um had a lovely gig last night um and then I've got another one tonight and yeah Toby is hanging out with my dad at the minute I think dad's watching rugby so um that's what they're doing I'm sure Toby's joining in on that and then yeah we're going for breakfast at the Cassian which is dad's favorite uh breakfast place and then I'm not sure what we're doing for the rest of the day it's rubbish weather it's raining but yeah it's nice to be in Wimbledon I'm just glad my car's all sorted <laughs> It was quite expensive in there. I got some candles, just a little set of candles for two quid. Um, they yeah, all the clothes for about 15. <laughs> Guy was being funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, the clothes are quite expensive, so I left those. It wasn't really anything I, I wanted anyway. Um, just got some candles and I'm gonna go to, there's another charity shop here called Trinity. So I'll just have a look in there. Just went to that one across the road, but didn't find anything. These are the candles I got, morning rain, does that make and they yeah they were two pounds they smell really really nice i've had me here done for the blog dad are you up for the charity shop challenge oh yeah can't we're gonna wait. go and find an outfit you have to choose it yeah i'm looking forward to it and i'm gonna get an outfit or i might not get and maybe it should just be about you but Toby, you, you want to get an outfit as well yeah. okay we'll do that Yay. <laughs> we're in the charity shop and we are going downstairs is the uh, hello god it's deep, British it? deep very deep deep, deep. going in going the depths the very bells the, be <clears throat> the bells of the charity shop the, the bells the, the, the bells the bells no the bells that was Quasimodo do you Quasimodo it started with a cyst <laughs> joke i remember that joke when i was younger yeah. like we're downstairs there's nobody else around it's probably a good thing sort my hair out um i found this so this might be my outfit of the day dad you're finding an ootd yeah what in about the charity this shop here? that's quite nice uh, yeah. is that, <laughs> is that you do that no is that you or the mannequin i think the mannequin farted <laughs> I <did that>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look around. That's really nice, I think. Yeah. Would you wear that? Uh, yeah. What are you after, t-shirts or jumpers? Uh, go to bed. What? I'd, I'd go to bed in that. <laughs> Come on, have a rummage. I'm having a rummage. That's a nice... All about that jacket. You look very trendy in that. Oh, wouldn't I? I should try that on. Yeah. I'm not mad about the colour. Is it not your colour? What what are your colours? Grey? Uh, black. Black! Blue. And grey? Grey, yeah. Okay, he's going, he's trying the jacket on. Hello! I don't think there's any kids' outfits in this one, Tobes. Oh, you I found loads of books? This one. Yeah, what else have you got? Well, you might like this. this. One. I don't think I like yeah, this. Yeah, what's No. It's not, this no. one. Keep looking, Dad. I found this one. That's good. There's nothing. That one looks nice as well. Should we get those? This one can be for Molly. Oh, that was really sweet of you. Look. No, we can't. Cross country. But I've never been crossing the country. <laughs> what about this here? This is women's. This is nice. <laughs> so try this on. Try this on. Toby, what do you think of this uh, on me? I think we've already got some of those. Is it a good one? Hang on. Yeah. Look. What do you think of this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Toby. This I me. close my eyes. I close my eyes. It's nice. Throw back the... Is this nice? It actually looks quite nice. What is it? Dressing gown. That could be... Oh, An eider <laughs> down. Is it? Dressing gown. Small tent. The thing is... What if I, if I go outside and I'm sitting at a cafe and the fella says to me, oh, I gave that to the charity shop and now I'm wearing it. You know what I mean? 
What can I do? You didn't find that. I just found it now. All right, well, do you know there's probably loads of those made, so I wouldn't worry about that now. Try it on. This is the charity shop challenge. You're not going to get your dressing gown. How much was it? Six quid. It's only six quid. That could be your outfit. Would you wear it though? I would. Your dressing gown. I'm worried for that. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. I think that's a really nice one. Mummy, mummy, I'm Batman. Hey, Batman. This might be interesting. Dad's found a coat. What? Actually, looks really, really nice. Why would you wear this? If you had trousers in the winter, if you really, if, say if you went out for a meal, you put some trousers on. That that looks really nice. So these are Dad's purchases. He got the Hollister top for eight pounds, and I'll put that on a little later for a try on and he got some of these for his wife um they were one pound fifty what are they for to add a touch of creative flair to your vases and glassware and i bought this zara top for four pounds fifty it's a jumper it's like a blanket it's got a little pocket um and short sleeves it feels really really cozy that's that one and a little dress for six pounds ninety and it's got cherries on it that's quite sweet i think that's H&M. Oh, thank you. Toby's given me a little chocolate. And then another top from Zara, which I thought looked really quite pretty. I like the colours. Um, and that was, how much did you cost? Let's have a look. Four pounds. I'll get Dad to try it on and see um, if he's passed the charity shop challenge. We didn't find any clothes for you, did we? No, but I found some books. Yes, we've got books. And I found some stones. Yeah, we've got some stones and some books. And these are Toby's stones, and he got two for £1.50. And we are about to play the Pound Land. That's over there, that game, that was £2. Noughts and Crosses. Is this a good game, Tobes? Yeah. I just won the first game, I'm so pleased. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> we are watching Beauty and the Beast. It's a rainy Saturday afternoon and we're still playing um, Knots and Crosses and it's for all isn't it at the minute. Yeah. And the winner of the Charity Shop Challenge 2018 is Mike McKay. <laughs> because uh, you look much better in your top. So this is where we went. Toby you Did said you that's well? it makes you look yeah. younger doesn't it? It does, it's really nice dad. Mm -hmm. And it was eight quid and we just looked online it should be about 25 pounds oh you didn't do the floss this is the floss not this hey i can do that <laughs> do it then. very happy about my first ever purchase from the charity shop is that your first ever yeah and whoever donated it i'd like to say thank you very much thank you very much it looks really ah. nice so let us know if you like dad's new top very smart with the new hair I'm just setting off for my gig. It's quarter to seven or 20 to seven. And uh, Toby and dad are watching Strictly Come Dancing. Is that what it's called? Or is it just called Strictly? They're watching that. And um, we had a really nice meal. Dad's wife cooks like the most, the nicest green chicken curry and um, some a prawn dish as well with rice. It was so nice. It was really hard. I was trying not to eat too much because when I go and sing, I don't like to be too full, but it was so nice. I was like, oh, just a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm heading off to my gig. I've got to go to um, Alberta Holiday Park, which is in Faversham. Whitstable, that's where it is in Kent. So I'm just going to put it in the sat nav and I'll probably get there for about quarter past eight. And I'm just about to go on. I've got my microphone and I'm going to do one long set. It's quite quiet tonight. Um, but hopefully, it's always been quite nice when I've been here before. So hopefully, um, there'll be a good crowd. But yeah, it'll be quite a nice gig, hopefully. There's no kind of pressure when it's quiet. So um, yeah, hopefully, it'll be a good night. It's Sunday morning and we're just about to go for breakfast. So I've just had a quick shower. My hair's a bit wet though. Um, but I just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day. I'm wearing um, the black ply ply mark. Black, black, <laughs> I can't speak. I haven't had a coffee yet. A black Primark jumper dress. Um, so I didn't try it on, but I said I would show you in a vlog. Um, <laughs> dirty pants on the floor. Um, this is a four pound jacket I got the other day from a Sue Rider charity shop. It's got, the, oh coming. Um, it's like a little, this is Primark too, but charity shop. And then the blue boots that I bought um, at the uh, British Red, no, it was Oxfam charity shop in Wimbledon Village last week. Right, gotta go, we're off for breakfast. Just thought I'd show you my outfit. It's raining, so I can't see anything, so I've got my hood up. 
Hello. And here we are at the Ardra. I love, I love the display outside. It's so pretty in all the colours. They can let you in, Dad. And we're inside now. There's a lovely table out there. Those chairs look so pretty. Nice. I kind of wanted to sit there, but the lady said it was more comfortable here. Hello. Did you sleep well? And you can hula hoop now, can't you? From practicing. Slowly. You have to go slowly. Oh. Will you show us later then? Yeah. How to hula hoop. We'll do a video. Yeah, let's do a video. Yeah. Morning, Jan. How are you? This is uh, brunch or breakfast. It's brunch. So, what you want. They do lovely like eggs benedictine yeah. thing. Yeah. And we're going to have pancakes, aren't we? Yeah. Can you spot the pancakes on the menu? Yeah, I... Oh, I can see them. Where? I can see them. Where? In the middle. In the very middle of the menu. Here. Hot buttermilk pancakes. Down, down. Yeah. How cute is my cappuccino? Salmon fish cake. Dad's got some chicken. Toby's having pancakes. You're going to pour your juice in. Is that strawberry? Yeah. Puree or something? Oh, wow. Strawberry juice. You're going to do it all? I thought it was ketchup, Tobes. <laughs> and here's mine. Same as Toby. We're going to have some pancakes. And pour in the lovely I was in a bit of a rush earlier, but this is um, what the dress looks like, the Primark dress, and I love these boots. These boots are they're so comfy. I'm so glad I um, bought them last week. I'm just going to nip to the loo for a lovely breakfast. I love it in the Ivy Cafe. It's so nice because it's so beautiful, and you just feel really like lucky to be in there because it's just oh it's just really nice it's a really nice atmosphere and i just like the fact it's not too expensive and everyone is welcome so it's not like um pretentious it's just really nice it's a really pretty i just love it and the food is really good um so i we are going to um the one pound charity shop in tolworth and there's a pound band next to it so me and my dad's wife are off there to see if there's any bargains and then um, have a look in Poundland too. So that's what we were doing uh, right now. Oh, the time is there a clock behind me. What does it say? Oh, quarter past, quarter past 12. And probably me and Toby are going to leave at around 2 o'clock, I think, and then head back to Norfolk. And we're just in Scope, which is the £1 clearance. Oh, I had that dress. So just going to have a good look around here. See if there's any bargains all items a pound. And here's Toby with the hula hoop. Right, on your marks. Get set, go. Oh, <laughs> that was really good. Well done. I'm trying to get on Dad, we're going to head off now. Baran would show. No, Baran, do you want to do it? Love bye. you too. Bye bye, uh, blog viewers. This is my brother David. Hello, David. Hi, uh, Hello, Uncle David. Uh, and he's younger than me, believe it or not. Um, Dad, it's a vlog with a V. A vlog. <laughs> no, no, a vlog. A vlog. I know, a vlog. Oh, a vlog. Like well, when you go to the toilet, you go to the vlog. <laughs> That's good. Right, say bye. Bye. And we'll see you soon. Love I'll you. see you soon. Love all you people. Bye. It's three o'clock now, obviously still Sunday afternoon, and we found loads of bargains in the one pound scope clearance charity shop. Really, really good. I got um, a DKMY top, an Oliver Bonus dress. I spent 17 pounds, so I got loads of things. And at the end, when I went to collect the bags, because we went to Poundland as well, um, I said, look, can we leave our bags here and then collect them? And as I was leaving, I spied this Lipsy leather jacket with like a fake fur thing and it looked brand new. So I just had to get that for a quid. I was like, is this a pound? She said, yes. And I was like, oh my God. So I gave her a pound for that. Um, so I spent 18 pounds in there and then I popped to Poundland and found some things I've never seen before. So um, I'll do the Poundland haul obviously for Friday and I will do the one pound charity shop for next Wednesday so a week on Wednesday because this Wednesday I've got the um car boot sale haul with Mr Carrington to do so I've got to show you all of the things that we found and I'm really yeah I'm really excited about doing that video because we found so many bargains um so it was too rainy to go to that car boot sale I did want to go back actually because there were some things um that I should have got like the Gisela Graham stuff I really wanted the pot plants hang on 
plant pots. Um, because I didn't have plants, but just the pots. Um, I wish I got the one. Mr. Carrington bought this gorgeous pot, and I wish I'd got one. It was only two pounds. I just thought, oh, it's going to be heavy, but I wish I got it now. Um, so yeah, hopefully next time I'm here, we can go to that car boot sale. I'll find the um stall that said all like the Gisela Graham anyway so that car boot sale haul will be for Wednesday and Ewan is going to be putting his sorry Mr Carrington is going to be putting his on at the same time as well so it'd be great watching that so I'm going to end the vlog here me and Toby well me and Toby I'm packing and then we're going to head off um, and probably get home for around I don't know we'll be home tonight at about seven o'clock I think no 6 37 that's when we'll be home so I hope you enjoyed this vlog I've had a lovely weekend of singing and charity shopping and um yeah we had a few breakfasts out which is always nice and it's yeah been really fun hanging out with my dad again and I loved his uh his t-shirt they got from the charity shop that was really quite nice too so I think we've con we've converted him We've shown you that charity shops are good and they have lovely clothes. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, give it a like and uh, write me a comment as well to say, hello, I watched it. Well, you didn't have to do that, but um, I can't remember. There's been a couple of questions along the way. I think it was, yeah, did you like dad's charity shop top? That's, that's English, isn't it? Charity shop top just sounds funny. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do. As of almost at 10,000, and I'm so excited. So be brilliant. Once I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a video with Lee. And um, I don't know, I might do a silly video. I've got an idea for a silly one. So yes, please help me reach 10,000. Right, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. And I will speak to you probably on Wednesday now for the Car Boot Sale Hall. Thank you. Bye.